Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Aries. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your intuitive reading. How are you? Okay. So let's begin. The intuitive gets a little bit to the feel, so we might get there, and hopefully not. Uh, but just to give you guys a heads up, okay. Um, I don't find any problem with Aries dealing with emotions, you know. It's like you guys are strong enough. Okay. So if it's a song for you guys, I'm stronger than yesterday. Because I'm stronger than yesterday yeah let's get a feel good day wake up aries wake up that's the message wake up yeah mm -hmm. make sure you follow us at late night tarot um you know it's very interesting things are getting warmer over there so check it out it's gonna be somewhere here okay um also it's available in soundcloud follow me in ig at the same time the vlog channel oh the vlog channel something spicy is cooking mm-hmm this big thing coming there. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. So wake up. That's the message for the Aries. And that's your reading for today. <laughs> Pack. <laughs> Paki like, Paki share. Okay. Kia halhe to my Indian uh, followers and subscribers. People in Canada, people in Australia, people in UK, wherever you are at. Salamat pagi to my Malaysian fans and Indonesian fans. Everybody's just watching this channel. I don't even know why. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. Wake up. Wake up because the sun is coming. I told you it's about waking up. The sun card. I told you. I told you. What time do you wake up? Is when the sun comes out, right? You know, it's like hopefully. Okay. Um, around 5.45, you know. There's a holy, uh, holy hour during that time where you can... Uh, uh, manifest healing manifest healing okay around 5 45 um, where the um, there's no malefic um, energy planet wise it's the best time to meditate that's why you know practice if you practice meditation during that time it puts your soul okay as a priority for the day for the day okay that's a sun card positive news blessing I want a baby babies here you know it's like or if you didn't want a baby but Still, you have a baby, okay? <laughs> That's a sun card. Um, going on vacation, are we, Aries? Um, a sense of lightheartedness with regards to the Virgo, if you're dealing with a Virgo. Um, if it's a Leo, I feel, well, we'll see. Okay, we'll see. The sun card also reflects, um, for me, you know, it's like as far as like it's healing, it's also a chance to start something new. It's the new hope, a new beginning. Um, sun is exalted in Aries, just to let you guys know, okay? With the Hierophant, okay, so we are not gonna slow down for today, okay? <laughs> so, um, you could be connecting with the Sun in Taurus, and look at that one. You are probably meditating, healing, doing yoga over there. See, the whole meditation. Mm -hmm. You're following your path. Um, you could be part of a big institution. This is institution, okay? Government institution, you know, and you're thriving. Um, this is also uh, recognition, awards. Um, the Hierophant shows... Uh, um, you know, it's like if you do something consistent, you get a medal. Okay, so that's the sun card. So this can be really focusing on earth manifestation right now as that's Taurus. Um, this is about the relationship that you have. Your relationship seems to be very um, soulful. Um, and as far as like uh, the connection, it's the yin and yang with the Hierophant here. That Taurus, I feel like it's pretty good for you there with the Hierophant. <laughs> 
King of Pentacles. Mm. Recognition at work. Yes. Um, you're, you're having a cake. You're having wine. You know. Um, you have a cow over there. So there can be some uh, celebration also. Normally there's a festival. And then I forgot. I forgot to my fellow uh, my fellow Indian subscribers. Um, what's the time where we decorate the cow? I forgot what it's called. Oh, it must be related when uh, how Shiva was. No, she, yeah, but I can't remember. You can put it there. But um, I feel here there's a festival. No, it's not Diwali because uh, it's. I know that it's October, but there's something about a festival. You might be attending a music festival, a party, a gathering uh, with the King of Pentacles. Um, something um, about settling down. You could be um, contract, uh, signing a new contract at work. Um, your boss also will be giving you uh, ra a raise. Okay, money is coming. Um, King of Pentacles, uh, flow of the universe is with you, um, with regards to your stability. Again, if you're connecting with an Earth sign, I think it's reaching to a point where um, there is an engagement because uh, there's wine and cake over there. A celebration. Okay. Um, I feel with uh, your living situation, it uh, it's going better also. Five of Swords. Um, you got a bunch of haters um, with the Five of Swords. Uh, we all know what happened to haters of Aries. We never heard from them anymore. <laughs> That's what happened. You know. So Five of Swords. You know, some people are jealous of your success. Um, you are triumphant. You're having a good relationship and you're having a good career. You got B I T C H E S over here hating on, on you, okay? Um, but if you are, you know, single and reaching to a point of success, you have the Five of Swords. Uh, the person that you are dealing with is having a pity party. Uh, jealousy is here with the Five of Swords. They don't see you thriving as something good for them. But what, you know, what's their business? I don't understand. Oh, why can't we just live our life? <laughs> Let me see here. Nine of Cups, you're enjoying some time out here. I'm going on vacation with the Nine of Cups. You see that one? Mm -hmm. You're very much in tune to your yin side. I don't know why I always have a runny nose when I start reading. Uh -huh. Sorry about that, guys. You have um, this uh, rejuvenating um, uh, energy. Um, you're taking some time out from arguments, from fight, even from relationship. Uh, if you are not in a relationship, you're just saying it's just like, I'm so over this. I'm happy being single. And I'm doing well. You're welcome. You know, this is the Nine of Cups energy. You also can be manifesting someone to come back into your life. Um, to reconnect again. To start someone. To start something new. Or manifest someone new in your life. I feel here that you are taking some meditation classes. Like healing classes. Um, and you could have an instructor with the King of Pentacles. That's your instructor over there. Because that's the guru with the Hierophant. And then the King of Pentacles is the boss. Okay. You could also be doing some activities with regards to co-workers here. Um, two of Swords. Okay, so I like this. There's a crow and there's a, uh, you know, the bullseye. I, I feel like you're taking a chance on things that you haven't done before, meaning you're being adventurous. You're exploring things. It's like, well, I haven't done 10 tequila shots in two seconds, so let me try and do 10 tequila shots. And maybe I'll do even... 11. You know? <laughs> two of Swords. You're taking a chance on... It's like, you know what? At least I take a chance you know, with anything in life right now. You're being adventurous. You're stepping out of the box. Um, you could be also very focused on your career for some time. And then now you're saying it says like, you know what? I need to go on vacation and I'll take my chances. Um, you get approval also for vacation with the King of Pentacles and the Sun card. The Moon card. Yes, uh, the Sun and the Moon. The luminaries. Enlightenment comes towards you. Um, if you are connecting with a Cancerian, uh, um, I feel like this person does not know how to hit the spot. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. They tried. Mm -hmm. They missed. Okay. Because their regret is the Five of Swords. I feel like, oh dear. Oh dear. Five of Swords. Because they're hitting the bullseye. You know, the spot. Okay. <laughs> and you're like, Nine of Cups, I had better. Okay. Sorry. Sorry with the Cancerian. Okay. I had better. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, if you're dealing with a Taurus, you're bored. Um, you're feeling like, well, anything else that we can do here? Because we're doing the same thing. Um, the only reason why I'm telling this because the moon and the sun brings out the hidden messages because yeah, it's having enlightening. So meaning 
other things that you haven't seen that you are doing is gonna come out now. Um, there is an energy also where you're seeing the bigger picture of life. Um, you think that you can't, and you will see that you can. Okay, so it's just like, well, I can't do. This. See, I told you, it's like you're you're taking a chance. Um, let me see here what else. A uh, bunch of your haters are regretting your success right now. Um, eight of cups. Uh, let them walk. You know, it's like this is a feeling defeated. Someone tried to show to you that they have to offer and for you know, sorry about that one. Okay. Um, you know, it's like, and you told this person, it's just like, um, that's not enough. Um, so you have rejected someone because you know what you want and you're driven by it right now. Um, the yin and yang, I told you, see? The hierophant there, and you have the sun and the moon, that's the yin and yang. So you're connecting with a, with a, you know, it's like a soulmate. You're connecting with someone who is grounded. Um, I just hope they're good in bed because it's really not hitting the spot over here. The frustration is for real. It's with the nine of cups. Um... And if you're abroad, then I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> Let's. I'll give you an advice. Okay. <laughs> Don't wing it. Just ask. Right. <laughs> that's what. That's what they always say. It's just like they only just need to ask, and they don't need to figure out where it is. Because if you ask, the ladies will say where it is. Okay. <laughs> Eight of cups. Okay. Someone is dissatisfied. Six of cups. Okay. Like what I mentioned, you're. Um, manifesting someone from your past. Um, it can also be just uh, getting in touch, um, connecting with the person. It's like, hey, what are you doing? You know, or whoever has walked away from you, then expect again this person to come back. If it's a Leo, they're coming back. The 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 Cancerian who was rejected, who felt denied, um, they're also wanting to come back. And you're basically in a chill pill mode right now. Life is good. Life is good. This is what you're having. Okay, right. so I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there in the description box for the extended for anything that you need for personal services. You also have one question. If you just have a question, we'll answer it for you. Okay, have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys. Bye. Bye.